It's always interesting receiving some new music and I've got a few albums to share with you. Let's get into it, shall we? Welcome Classic Rock fans to a short video where we get to explore some new albums by some brand new bands. If you're new to this channel, please do click like, subscribe and check that notification bell so in the words of Steven Tyler, you don't miss a thing. And check some of the links below this video for ways you can support the sterling work done at Classic Album Review is always much appreciated. The first album is Alpha Line and Electromagnetic. This was kind of sold to me as prog, but it feels more like kind of um, soundscape you know, esque prog to me, to be honest with you. No elves or mystical topographies to navigate on this one. Kind of a minimalistic prog minus the luxurious wash of Hammond or Mellotron, which is, tends to be my reference point really when it comes to progressive rock. Listening to this album, I thought it had more in common with the industrial thud of uh, Nine Inch Nails' Pretty Hate Machine, but uh, minus the angst, minus the uh, industrial thud as well. So probably not a very good comparison. Maybe Latter-day Radiohead, or more melodic, better vocals. And I'm not saying Tom York is a bad singer. He's actually got a fine voice when he chooses to sing properly. If I had to give you some sort of reference point, it certainly has some sort of progressive tendencies, but the... It's got a, a kind of indies, 90s indies sort of uh, atmosphere to it, with a kind of jangle of guitars you'd find on a Cure album. Overall a pleasant listen, but no hobbits, no capes. Like the keyboard motif at the start of Kinda Strangers, and lovely vocals from Caroline Yardley. Uh, but it certainly feels a bit more poppy than proggy in my opinion, but do check it out. I almost forgot I should uh, show you the CD itself, there's the actual CD. And that opens up like that. And the disc itself slots in there. There you go. And the next one is a band called Hex. I presume that's how you pronounce her name. The album's Terra Nova. British progressive metal band actually formed in 2005. Uh, frontman and bass player Matt Young. They have a dynamic range and drama to this music. Um, and time shifts that certainly characterise this genre. Sabotage's Excellence, which is that little bass segue in the middle, and the title track Terra Nova possesses some impressive fretwork. It's an eclectic blend overall, it includes some strings and some familiar noodlery you get with um, sort of progressive metal. Not as dark or as heavy as a band like Opeth, uh, to be honest. In fact, uh, at times I feel they seem to lean more towards classic rock at times, almost like classic rainbow lineup. But overall, a thoroughly interesting listen. Anyway, it's a nice package as well. It's, it comes like this and opens up. Lots of, uh, lots of bang for your buck there. That's the rear of it. And they've even sent me some nice stickers. I don't know if you're going to get those when you buy it, but... Uh, and the discs themselves, if you're, if you're interested. So this is uh, Hex. Do forgive me if I've uh, said the name wrong. And there is a booklet as well. You can get it out, there it is. Sorry about the light reflecting in it. Which is uh, in keeping with the dark theme of the record. Not sure if this is a concept album or not. I, I didn't uh, get that far reading about it, but uh, some nice pictures. Looks very dark and gloomy, doesn't it? Probably is a concept album. There you go, that's a nice, uh, nice band picture. Again, so I can get that right so the light isn't obscuring it. There we go. Next one is Electric Forgiveness, an original score. It's mostly instrumental, to be honest with you, uh, and I really enjoy this. It's, uh, they have been, they are described as a super group uh, consisting of uh, John Rabbit Bundrick, Steve Kilbury, Doug McMillan. This music is described as a lysergic mood journey of epic proportions, an auditory movie that cleanses the third eye while blinding the other two. Kind of just about sums it up. It certainly feels very trippy with lots of frenetic noodling and reverbed vocals over the incessant clatter of drums and ham and throb. I love the fact somebody's actually doing this rather than just regurgitating those tired old tropes that we associate with the heyday of prog. Excellent. So I love the soupy bass in the opening number and love the way the voices just seem to be used to add texture to a heavily textural album. And the CD for this is, again, I don't want the light obscuring it. It's a fairly simple affair. 
The next one is Umbra. Uh, looks like a V, but I have it on good authority. It's pronounced Umbra. A prog metal band with some sublime lead vocals. The opening track has kind of a cashmere propulsive throb to which I rather enjoyed. I quite like this actually because it's, uh, it's still fairly melodic. I mean, a lot of um, uh, prog metal I find it, it seems to be some sort of big beardy Nordic type just shouting at me. Not here though, this is fairly accessible and interesting in its uh, kind of musical digressions. They tend to move effortlessly between the rich harmonic world of prog to the darker resonances and deeper tones of progressive metal. Even sort of employing lots of what I call those cyclical grooves that a dream theatre like to employ. And all played with energy and gusto. Anyway, that's, uh, that's this CD. It's the rear. Just opens up like that. There you have it. Anyway, that's the only four albums I have to share with you today. Which ones do you, did you like? Which ones do you think you might buy? Do check them out. They've all got websites and things like that. Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you regarding this, uh, the music of these bands. Uh, do click like, subscribe, check that notification. I think I've already said that, haven't I? Other than that, just stay well, keep safe, and of course, uh, keep listening.